What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here for a video tutorial on how to step by step download and securely verify and install uh, two beautiful software upgrades that we've just gotten here in the Bitcoin rabbit hole. And that is, of course, the Wasabi wallet that just got upgraded and released to version 1.1.6 together with the cold card firmware that just got released to version 2.1.1. Now, why is this video about both of these upgrades together? Well, because they are tailor-made for each other. Although there are uh, additional features in both softwares with these upgrades, there are a couple that are tailor-made just to work now with the full partially signed Bitcoin air-gapped uh, transaction with cold card and Wasabi. So without any further ado, let's actually get into this right here. So first we need to, of course, download the packages, which I've already done. So you can go to wasabiwallet.io or this Tor hidden service to go to the official Wasabi website and then scroll down to download Wasabi Wallet version 1.1.6. Now, this can be done for uh, Microsoft with a .msi package, for Debian or Ubuntu with the .debian package, or a TarGZ for other Linux distributions, as well as the DMG package for Mac OS. Well, since we are open source Libra software maximalists, we of course run Debian, <laughs> and uh, thus we download here this Debian package with signatures. Now, uh, I have already these two right here. First, the Debian package and then the ASC signature. Now, this package was signed by Adam Fiskor's GPG key right here. I've personally verified it. They'll make sure that you do your independent verification and that you do not trust a random guy on the internet. So, uh, when we want to uh, we'll verify this. We GPG verify this package with the signature right here. And this will show us that, yes, it is a good signature from Nopara. Perfect. Now, what we can do is we can actually upgrade uh, to this version. And this would be sudo, then dpkg, that is the Debian package manager, and with the flag install the Wasabi uh, version. And now, of course, the password. And we will upgrade it. Well, as you see, I am already on master branch. <laughs> but now that is done. That is actually it. We have now successfully upgraded Wasabi. And with the Wasabi command, we could now start it and continue uh, with well, exploring this new release, which we will do in a future video. But now actually, let's first then check if we have a, or let's first then do our cold card upgrade. Uh, so please go to coldcardwallet.com slash docs slash upgrade, where you can download the, the pre-built DFU firmware file uh, right here. And then when you scroll down, uh, you will also see mm -hmm, this clear signed TXT file. Right, and this is signed by uh, Peter Gray's key right here. Okay, I've again personally verified this, but do your own verification for sure. So this signature actually is across this file, and we can we can verify it by yeah GBG verify this cold card stick txt. This is exactly this text file right here. And here it contains a SHA-256 hash digest of this firmware file right here, version 2.1.1. Uh, so what we now need to do is we need to check if actually our SHA of this firmware package right here is actually included uh, in this signed file. So this would be SHA-256 sum and then the firmware file, which we will see 396FED7BD and so on. And this is identical to what is right here in this signed changelog file. Uh, so that is fantastic. Now we actually know that this is the correct firmware file uh, that we've got from Peter Gray. So now we simply copy this DFU file right here and move it to a SD card uh, that I have already uh, well, inserted right here. Already it's moved over and now we can, well, uh, eject this right here and we will also uh, stop the screen share. Okay, to the, then now right here, I have the SD card adapter uh, where I take out the SD card and plug it right here into the cold card back slot. until it clicks, perfect. Now in the settings tab, uh, go to advanced 
and to the upgrade tab where you can either show the new version uh, or you can upgrade from the micro SD or bless it. Uh, so the first step is of course to upgrade from the SD card and it will show us automatically that there's only one firmware right here and that is the recent version 2.1.1. So when we click on this, it will load and actually now write the new firmware into the, well, onto this entire device. Uh, and this update process takes a minute or so. Uh, so in the meantime, well, uh, sit back and relax. Now that it has loaded and upgraded, you see that we are back to the starting screen where we have to enter our pin. Uh, but as you see right here, the genuine light is no longer green, but we have a red caution line. So what has just happened? Well, with every update, of course, we change the firmware. But uh, there is a hash of the previous firmware stored in the secure element. And on every reboot, uh, the cold card checks whether the current installed firmware still matches the hash that is securely stored on the HSM, which right now is of course no longer the case. It has here the hash of version 2.0.4, I think, stored locally. But we've upgraded now to version 2.1.1, meaning the hashes are no longer the same. Thus, a red caution light. This knows, or this lets you know, that someone has meddled with the firmware. Now, in this case, it was us. So in the next step, we have to bless the firmware and we have to copy the new hash of the new firmware into the HSM. So for this, uh, first we need to type in our pin uh, to, pr to prove to the hardware that this is actually us, right? Uh, so we see uh, the pin again with the two words, uh, which is fantastic, and typing in the second half of the pin. So, and again, this means that you have to type in the pin twice in order to upgrade the firmware. First, you need to type it in to get into the settings menu to then do the advanced uh, update from the cold card. Uh, and then it will throw you out and then again, you have to bless the firmware. So for this, we go again into advanced and upgrade. And here there is the third option of blessing the firmware. And again, this will take a hash of the current firmware and store it in the HSM. And now the next time that we boot up the cold card, it will check the version of the firmware that is on here. And if the hash of this matches this new hash of version 2.1.1. If yes, green genuine light, perfect. Nothing has been touched on this device from the firmware level. If it's red, then oh, there has been just a tiny change already. Um, but peers, this is it. Uh, this is how quickly you can securely download, verify the signatures, and upgrade uh, the software packages of both the Wasabi wallet with version 2.1.1 and, or sorry, that was cold card with version 2.1.1 and Wasabi with version 1.1.6. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please reach out in the chat at thetowardsliberty.com slash contact. And Piers, see you on the next show where we go more into depth on what these firmwares actually do and how you can use these two awesome projects now together. Thank you very much and see you then. Bye-bye.